Some dangerous types of foodborne illnesses are on the rise, and scientists believe super microbes in our food are to blame. And they're now being found even in foods like ice cream sandwiches, previously considered low risk. So how to keep you and your family safe? Here to discuss is Dr. Robert Tokes, Deputy Director of the Centers for Disease Control Division of Foodborne, Waterborne, and Environmental Disease. Welcome, Dr. Tokes. The most recent data shows overall infection from foodborne illness has remained the same over the last few years, but some types are on the rise. What are the primary reasons for this? Well, we think that, uh, unfortunately, foodborne infections are pretty common. One in six Americans may get them each year. Um, there's been some important progress, but over the last six to eight years, uh, that progress leveled off, uh, and uh, there are many, as many infections now as there used to be. Uh, some have increased and some have decreased, but it nets out to be uh, pretty much the same. Uh, we are seeing uh, solutions to some problems known for a long time. Ground beef is safer, uh, processed meat is safer, and we are seeing new problems arise. And as you said, uh, foods that we used to think were safe, uh, we're finding problems in. Yeah, let's go through a list of some of those foods. I mean, ice cream sandwiches, that was a scary one. What are some of the other foods that are now popping up? Well, we're seeing problems arise in some produce and nuts. Uh, that have come up we didn't used to think of as problems in processed foods like peanut butter and ice cream uh, and in imported foods uh, like uh, ground tuna or uh, something that came up last year I'd never heard of, uh, chia seed powder. Well, that brings up an interesting point because how much control do we have over food that's being imported? Well, we need, first of all, in this country to make sure the food we produce here is safe. Mm -hmm. And then we need to uh, uh, make sure that other countries also have the same safe processes in place. So, Doctor, how are these powerful strains of foodborne bacteria, such as salmonella, continuing to develop? Well, salmonella, listeria, E. coli, uh, and other germs are bacteria. Uh, they live in nature, they live in animals, they live in people, and they live in food factories in the case of listeria. They find homes in surprising places, and we need to look for those homes and encourage them to leave. So are they, is it true that they are becoming more resistant and stronger? Antibiotic resistance is an important public health problem for many germs. Uh, most of the resistance we see is happening as a result of the antibiotics used in healthcare, in hospitals, in clinics. But some of it is as a result of antibiotics used in animals. We need to be sure that the antibiotics that are used, whenever they're used, are necessary and prudent and so for how, animals and how, or for humans. And how will the new food safety law passed in 2011 give the Food and Drug Administration more power to prevent some of these foodborne illnesses? The Food and Drug Administration is finalizing new rules and regulations uh, that should be finished later this year that deal with making produce safer, fresh produce, which is a big part of a healthy diet. Uh, that needs to be made safer. Those rules will help. They're also addressing processed foods like peanut butter or ice cream. Uh, and uh, they have a separate rule that will uh, uh, start making imported foods safer. So these are important steps forward. And it's part of why I'm cautiously optimistic that 2015 may be a tipping point uh, in food safety. Well, let's certainly hope so. And finally, what is your parting advice on how to protect ourselves? I think there are simple precautions everybody can take, uh, making sure that the meat and poultry you eat is cooked, making sure that the uh, anything that they drip on has been uh, uh, cleaned up, washed with hot soap and water in the dishwasher, uh, and uh, uh, promptly refrigerating leftovers. Um, there are a lot of good picnics happening already, and I hope everyone enjoys uh, the, uh, the uh, fun and uh, pleasure of eating outside. Thank you so much, Dr. Tokes, for all of that great advice and great information. Thank you for that.